Hi there from uh, Frognesset Terren. This is the last metro station in Oslo on the blue line number one. Very uphill. So even now it's almost June. So it's uh, May 18. <laughs> there is snow. There is still snow. Look at this. Poor tree trying to bloom. There is snow. There is snow. There is snow. Not let, but there. So I'm just going this way because I, I want to see how long the wooden trail goes. I've heard uh, this is there hundreds of kilometers of this in uh, in Finland not so I mean there are many in Norway as well just checking oh the colors it's a green <laughs> very beautiful so it goes down and down don't know. I will suspect it will not go so much. It's also, we can see here, it's not taken care of. Maybe they will uh, do some changes soon in spring, but I guess not. Those look uh, old. So I guess this is a problem for quite some time. Uh, it goes down there, but I think it just tops in 15, 50 meters. So back to my trail that I was thinking of from Frognesetteren, as I just said. Yeah, let's hear the birds. No, they just moved there. There is one on the snow here. It feels very special these day to, days to see uh, different types of birds in a city but uh, Oslo does it best as it conserves nature as good as possible a lot of nature around there is no right there as well yeah and all these trails all over here are used during uh, winter for Landgren cross-country skiing also people like me are enjoying the hikes even during winter very very nice activity to do very good for health mental health and uh, everything Clearing the mind and uh, pumping the body, the blood through your body. So, yeah, but uh, let's continue this road. I will shut up soon. I just wanted to say that there will be, at least there were until now many flowers on both sides of the road maybe here is still too cold the temperature today it's around 16 18 degrees max i think it feels like 16 for me in the shadow it's very good in the in the sun there is uh, not so much uh, wind, but when it comes, it feels uh, chilly. Going towards two lakes, hopefully, I'll manage to find them on the first try. 
I'm not sure. Uh, I might have to stop at some point and uh, look at the map. But uh, we'll see about that soon. So let's just hike this fully. Okay, I will interrupt again. It's quite funny. <laughs> That's funny, ironic. That when I shut up, there was this plane above that makes a lot of noise. And it's also that we cannot hear the birds singing around, which we, they did uh, in the previous area. And uh, more than that, I think this is... Is this a third ship? No. No, it's just a pine. It comes from the trees. So I might uh, still continue to talk <laughs> while there is no bird singing. It might be possible to see Elks, moose. I'm expecting to see some squirrels, chipmunks. We'll see. This road is not a hiking road, it's just a cross country skiing road without snow. So it's very, very easy to use it before uh, coming on this trail. There was, uh, I saw two or three parents with their uh, kids in uh, and just pushing the, the stroller with their kids so this is very easy okay this side seems more icy more uh, snowy than the rest so it's probably on the edge of the shadow all the time On my right hand side I can hear the river. Nice. But the airplane is now silent, so I will do the same.
Wow. What? Wow. What? What? Ah, uh, I I don't think I'm in the right place, but I think I'm in the right place. There's a huge lake right here. And it's not the one I was going to, but <laughs> let's check this one. Hmm. It's not even a right trail.
Okay, so I took a wrong turn in this lake, but uh, it's actually a right turn. Very nice. I saw it on the map and I just miscalculated my left turn. But, uh, yeah, you don't see it, but there is just a car road there. I can just go around the lake and go on that way. But I just prefer to go through the forest. This is a big uh, ant's house. It's huge compared to me. It's uh, 1.3 meters high and it's just huge. So yeah, it's a good thing this is a trail just around the lake. My uh, very pleasure to walk around the lake. I love it. Okay, there is also a bench here. So this is very accessible either by uh, metro or by car. Many cars there. What the hell is this? Oh, it's just uh, timber. Yeah, so here you can lay down, put on a fire, swim in this lake. Which looks very, very clean. Here as well, just go and swim. Yeah, and now I have to figure out the way I wanted to go actually. I will just continue, finish this uh, walk uh, on the shore of the lake and see if I can find the next one towards the main road, the main hiking road and maybe I can figure out a way to go and I see there are people uh, tents Yeah, so during this period, if you are visiting Oslo, you can uh, easily just go buy a tent instead of uh, paying for accommodation. Even I think you can even just buy a tent from the store. There are two sports stores that have uh, cheap items. One is a sport outlet, and the name says it all, and the other is uh, XXL. And the name doesn't say anything, but uh, they have many things and uh, good prices. So, the sporting stuff I think is the uh, the only real uh... oh this is a kindergarten no way or is it a hitta looks like a kindergarten though no it's elg hitta okay yeah. 
Christmas. Sequence Chernene. Some snow here. Tavare po Barnehagen vor. So is it Barnehagen or Hitta? Yeah, no mm -hmm. idea. So I guess here to the left is uh, actually my road to go. Just a guessing. But this is very, very beautiful. So Harald Stavostransvai and this Bookstad Trivan songs one to the right from Nersetter and Ullevolsetter Another nice river here So yeah, yet again I'm just going to check maps and also put my phone to charge with an external battery and uh, let's find the way to the lakes I was going to it'll be interesting <laughs> <laughs> 